Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to share today's speed build is going to be an interior apartment design. And I'm very excited to share how the process goes with you guys. So thank you guys so much again for the support. As always, please make sure you like and subscribe. I know people say that every time, but it truly, truly helps if you thumbs up the video and subscribe. So, um, the room that I previously had was for um, Vanellope and I was putting all of the stuff originally of Vanellope's uh, furniture line in here. And then I decided, let me just use this room to make the room that I want. So I'm putting the different walls together like this because that zigzag looking wall is going to be the kitchen-ish, the kitchen area. So what I did was I took the backs, you guys know the RV from Toy Story, Buzz's RV, the shelves in there. I took those and I put them up together against each other, which kind of creates like a wall divider, which actually worked out perfectly for the size and to make like a little kitchen um, view, like you can see through into the kitchen to make it look like almost like another whole nother wall, which was pretty cool. It came out really good I I was happy about that so I start putting some of the lighting in I'm just going through and trying to fill in the space now so I put, already put the refrigerator I know as you guys will see in the walkthrough I didn't put a stove but it's okay nobody will know <laughs> Um, I forgot about the stove and I ran out of my limit with Scrooge. Oh my gosh, guys, I hate that Scrooge has a limit. I really wish he would just be forgiving and please let us order as many items as we want. Come on. So I put the little, uh, that shelf I absolutely love because it is perfect for the kitchen. And as you can see, when I am building, I play with how it looks so i wanted to see it from different viewpoints and see where you could see it at different angles and so i post put it up there and then i moved it around to see what it would look like at an angle depending on how i'm gonna take my pictures so <laughs> i wanted to be able to see it so then i start adding some little decorations here and there so you know the bowl of apples i think it's so cute and then some tea and um, some of the frozen furniture for the wall is decor because it has the mugs, which is really, really cute. I love the little mugs. And I, because I even have actually one of those little mugs in my real home. And then I start just throwing out all the things that I know that I wanted to put out into the design so that I don't forget. Because sometimes when I'm designing, I forget what I went to Scrooge. Because I, before all this, I went to Scrooge's store, bought everything that I thought that I might need. And then I started building. And sometimes I forget what, what I purchased and what I was going to use. So as, as I see it, as I scroll, I start to just throw it out. And so that I know. So here I was deciding which table I wanted. I couldn't figure it out. I thought I wanted the other one, but it blended in too much with the chairs for me. I wanted this table to stand out just a smidge. So I didn't want it to to blend in that well especially because already the floor is brown so I needed a little bit of contrast <laughs> so I changed that I started putting the TV up and that little stand is the only stand that I really like because other than that it's um the only thing you can find is like the dressers the dressers are the only thing that you can find so and then i use the monsters ink couch is one of my favorites i love it i was gonna do a custom brown couch here and just do plain brown but i love the look of the monsters ink couch it just has so much more detail to it whereas i can't i don't know if i can even do that with the custom couches so i just leave that as is and then i decided that i wanted a little make the kitchen a little bit smaller and i wanted a little more space for the dining area so i started to move everything over in the um in the kitchen and if you guys hear kids in the background it is because i have them and it's impossible to not be around them so <laughs> 
and so I'm just fixing up the you know a little bit of the decor and I love those plants they are my absolute favorite and then I try to figure out which window I wanted to use I wanted a small window I wasn't a big fan of the little window but that is what I used in the meantime then I started putting windows all around the apartment because I didn't want one window just one random window I wanted to try to line it up try to make it look like almost even and then I wanted to put two windows around the TV like a accent kind of accent on the wall but so I just moved the door over and then I wanted to put like a little um, area for cute decor so I used that table that same table again because again it's my favorite table for just um, like a console table or walk-in like the walk-in area table I don't know what they're called officially but yeah so I, then I start messing with the decor on the wall trying to figure out what looks good what doesn't and then I am on my way to trying to throw in some decoration. I thought I wanted the pompous grass and then I decided against it. I decided I didn't really like that. So then I started to put the candle and some cute like um, greenery on the console table. And then I decided I don't really like all that there either. So like, as you guys can see, like when I'm going through this process, I try like a few different things to see what looks good, what doesn't. This shelf was another issue. And let me tell you, when I was designing this room, so I put it there, right? And then I decided, you know what? I don't like it. And I had to, in order to get it off the wall, I had to completely quit the game and come back in and then take it off because it wouldn't go away. <laughs> It was super frustrating. Then I put some this awesome painting. I loved the way that the console table came out much better with the than the plants with the vase from Lion King and the little uh, bowl that you can craft. I forgot what they're called. You can craft uh, with the new DLC. And then I want an entryway rug, but we don't have those. And the only one I think that's small enough is like pink, so that wouldn't have fit. So I just have to do without for now. And then I keep. <laughs> putting decor items, some kitchen items around. I wanted to fill in that space between the refrigerator and I ran, again, I ran out of my item limit, so I had to just figure out something to throw in. And I threw in one of the, sh one of the corner cabinet things, but it didn't match, but it was close enough because I just, I ran out of the order limit with Scrooge. And then I put some extra lighting around uh, to accent, to make a, to accentuate the door and I don't like leaving the walls too plain because then it looks very boring to me and so this is how it came out guys it's a cute little simple apartment uh, I was definitely going for simple and I love it so much it looks like a really cute uh, apartment complex and so <laughs> this is how it came out i really hope that you guys enjoyed i put you know some food on the table a little a cup of coffee it looks so good i love the fact that buzz's rv shells can be catered to do something like this it came out so much better than i expected i really really enjoyed building this this was such a simple and quick build i did it with under an hour i really hope you guys enjoyed thank you again so much for the support and the love and being on my channel if you guys have any questions definitely let me know in the comments if you want to see more interior builds let me know if you want to see more outdoor builds let me know in the comments and again thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next video bye